Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about a new wave that's just been recently discovered. We'll give you the link uh, to the article so you can read it. It's called a transverse wave. A little background, it's complicated, but you know, let's follow the definitions. We'll go from there. Two kinds of waves, lights, transverse wave, vibrations are perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. Don't worry about that. Longitudinal wave, sound vibrations are parallel. Perpendicular and parallel. Those are the two words that we want to keep in mind. Uh, to uh, wave sound vibrations are parallel to the direction of the wave propagation. So one is perpendicular, one is parallel. That's all we need to keep in our brains right now. So there's a new wave that they discovered. So airborne sound is usually longitudinal waves, can be transverse wave under certain conditions. So the new wave that they've discovered recently is a transverse wave. Now, how is this wave di different from uh, longitudinal and uh, perpendicular wave? So how are we going to discriminate between? Well, the transverse wave, it spins or orbits. It has a spinning and an orbit interaction on two, uh, two levels. So you can see in the graphic, there's a coupling between the longitudinal and the transverse waves, which has never been you know, known before, never been discovered. So it's kind of uh, interesting that we can see that air is an elastic support and it, it supports this ability to, to work on two axes. Never been, uh, never been uh, thought about before and kind of uh, knocks the world of physics uh, on its uh, rear end a little bit. So it's kind of interesting. And then question for us is with this new transverse wave, is it audible? To me, it sounds like phase. I mean, perpendicular, parallel, and then we do this. That, to me, sounds like a phase thing, but who knows? We don't even know if it's an audible situation. But one of the reasons I wanted to do this is because a lot of people say, well, if you can't measure it, it doesn't exist. Well, what if it exists, but you can't measure it because you don't have the tools or you don't know about it? See, so this is absolutism uh, nonsense, you know, has to stop because there's things we don't know. There's things we can't measure yet. Now maybe we will be able to. Maybe they'll have no relevance to what our discussion is about, the emotional connection to the music, but who knows? I just thought this was interesting. This is a new wave that they discovered that works in uh, different dimensions, so within air. So it's kind of uh, important to us acoustically. Is it audible? Unknown, but might be. But it kind of sounds phasey, doesn't it, when it's doing this and instead of this or this. But that's just my constructs and the way I think about things. So thought this was interesting. New wave that's just recently been discovered. Uh, we'll put a link uh, to the article so you can read about it. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.